And now, from Glasgow... So hello, welcome to stage 20, and this is just one stage on its own. And this is called the sensor and the electronic board. Uh, and the parts that we receive is this contactless uh, sensor. Not really sure how this is going to work. I know nothing about things like this, but we'll find out. Uh, stage uh, part two is electronic circuit board. Be careful how you handle this, guys. Um, static is the worst enemy of circuit boards, um, but a little bit of light handling should be okay. Uh, we then get this contactless sensor wire. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a three wires, uh, three different colors, black, yellow, red. Oops. And they are connected on the end with what's called a, a, a JST, I think a JST, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a Japanese solderless terminal. Um, it's a system where you crimp things on and then pop it into the housing. And then we have two ends exactly the same. These are both male, what looks called male end. A male end goes into a hole. The female is the hole that receives a hole, receives something. So you can see that this will fit into there. It will also fit into there like that I'm not going to push them in so I'm guessing it will connect these two together and then lastly we have two PTP screws so the first thing we need to do can you remember I, I asked you in the last video if can you guess what area we're going to start on did you guess the left arm did you guess the right arm maybe the body or the heart uh, no guys we are going back to the head um, so I find this annoying, to be honest with you. Um, first thing we have to do is disassemble, take this framework off. We have six screws, one, two, three, four, five, six. They need to be removed. Let's see if I can do it with my electric screwdriver. Yes, I can. So there's one, and that's part of the reason why I hate doing it. So that one comes off. That one comes off. That one is going to need a slim screwdriver. And I, I really, because obviously every time, every time you put a self-tapping screw in, it cuts a hole into the plastic. If you then screw that screw back in, it's never going to be quite as strong as the first time you do it. Um, so obviously if you, I don't understand why they asked us to remove, why they've asked us to put this in. If we're then going to have to take it apart again um, and that I've got screws flying everywhere uh, for um, but there you go it is the process um, I'm having trouble with these screws because they're quite deep in there I'm having to do it by feel um, and I can't find the screw head there we go so that one is coming out and I think this screw isn't out enough. Once we've got this out it will give us access to all the electronics in the head and as you can see I'm trying to think of things to say while I do this because I'm a little bit slower. There we go. Right so there's my six screws nice and safe and there we have access to the top of the head and lovely right so what we need to do now then is let's move these wires out of the way at the back of the head we have two screw holes there and we need to take our electronic screw uh, circuit board now I can see that if you're working with the eyes to the left of you and the, the back of the head is to the right you want this particular um, junction above you 
and that's going to go in like that now that's going to be slightly tricky so I'm going to actually pop my screw in before I attach it and then what we can do let's see if I can cheat and use my electric screwdriver again that didn't work too well that wasn't the best job ever um, it's far too tough uh, for the electronic screwdriver to work um, so once we've got that first screw, and I've not got it in fully because I want to be able to swivel it and then We'll just fiddle and get that second screw in there like so. And that really doesn't want to stay. And I'm being very careful because I'm dealing with a circuit board here. I want to touch it as little as possible. Um, I am particularly worried because for some reason, I don't know if it's because they rub on things, but my cats get quite staticky sometimes. And then they come along and they rub up against me, uh, which means that by nature of being a cat owner, I am full of static and then obviously if I touch this circuit board I could blow it but I managed to get that circuit board in nice and tight and that is in nicely right so now we need to do some figuring out so the I servo motor which I think is this one wants to come up I'm pretty sure this is the i servo motor that wants to come up and that wants to go into this plug there and we are going to end up with a jumble of wires and that plugs in there then the one that comes out the bottom which is the mouse servo motor that wants to be plugged in next door to it voila just like that excellent and that is stage th uh, step three done then we have the switch for the eyes which i think is this one in fact i'm pretty sure it's this one no the switch for the eyes is the black one and that is going to go in to this one there like so and then our last plug and I'm going to just tuck that underneath the wires why they didn't put labels on these I do not know a little label A B C D but that's going in there like so and that is that one complete so next step we want to connect this touch sensor um, and we have no way of testing this guys absolutely no way at all um, right so that is going into there like so and we need to turn that over no we don't turn it over where does that go right okay so that needs to go through this so remember when i spotted that square bit that is where that is going to go so that wire is going to have to go through there and i think what we are going to do this is going to be fun guys so we take our sticky back plastic off and somehow there we go now this is made by 3M which is a name that I personally trust and you see where that sensor is that wants to go in that notch there so we're just going to place that somehow in there now a bit of a tip for you guys place your fingers on here for a few seconds make sure you get into the corners and that will help the adhesive just warm up a little bit just using your body weight and that will help that stick permanently okay so we're going to tuck that wire under there I don't know where it's going to come out I think it's going to go underneath right okay so we then take our other end and we're going to plug that 
into our last remaining plug hole which is which is there okay make sure that all the wiring is clear of the screw holes so you'll see that all tucks round under there and this has become a little bit scruffy under there so I'm just going to tuck that under there uh, if you've got a bit of electrical tape or masking tape you just want to tape that down I can't see how that's going to do any harm and now what we want to do is pop this back on there you go I've just found out this is actually long enough to wrap around this motor so if you bring that round like that and then round like that that actually works quite well okay and then what we want to do now is we want to get these screws back in so I'm going to work on opposites I think so I will pop this screw in first and remember when we did this before we kind of pulled it together with the eyelid and there we go we just keep going until see I'm not sure I, I don't know if that's not going tight because I haven't done it enough or if it's in the wrong place or if I've threaded the screw and this is one of the problems with undoing screws this one doesn't want to go back in there we go right that one's in nice actually um, this one that one I think that's been threaded which is a pain in the bum but I'll do the outer one as long as I can get a good connection with four or five screws and as long as those screws are well placed I think it will still be good remember there'll be a little uh, rubber rubber masking going over this I can't find a screw hole guys there we go is that going to go right that one's in very very nice because that's going into ABS plastic that will attach very nicely so this is going to be a case of trust the process because we have absolutely no way of testing this anymore um, because we have our circuit board there and the power input is now a different connection from the little test pack that we have so I'm just trying to get these in these are actually quite hard work right Do you know I think that's okay those screws are all attached so I think we're going to be okay uh, make sure obviously we've done all of our testing when we installed each individual component um, remember we had some parts that didn't work properly because I actually over screwed over tightened the screws once I loosened them a little bit everything was fine so right so we have eyes that go one way we have a mouth that goes one way and we have eyelids that open or close and if you remember I said that I think maybe there'll be some kind of circuit board will control them I think that's a circuit board there but the power is obviously going to come in via this port there uh, which is far too big for our little test pack so we have no way of testing this until we receive our actual component that goes in there however I am happy with that um, now I said earlier on I have no idea what this is but by the name of it being a contactless sensor I think what's going to happen you're going to touch ET it's going to pick up that and then it will do something so maybe pat him on the head and he'll speak or something I don't know I really don't know um, if anyone can tell me what a contactless sensor actually is maybe there'll be a button on there uh, maybe there'll be something going over the top 
I, I really don't know, guys. Um, so that is issue 20 complete. Um, I have absolutely no idea what's coming in the next issue because the next issue is a new pack. Um, pack wise, I am very happy with this one. Uh, one thing that I often say, I know some people like it when you get bulky parts. Some people like such as myself like it when you get technical parts. Uh, we did have a couple of issues that had not an awful lot to do. I'm thinking maybe the, the legs. Um, certainly stages 14 and 15 was was hardly anything. It was one screw. One screw? Yeah, one screw. Um, but I like to look at the pack as a whole. And I think we had a nice mix with the whole pack. Um, this is getting quite heavy now, actually, guys. Um, for what it is, it's quite a bit of a bulk. Um, but... This is what my ET looks like so far. Uh, we have two little legs, because that's what ET stands for, short for, and we have one finger, and we have the face. Um, so there you go, guys. Very, very happy with that. Um, so with that said, I will see you in the next issue. So take care, guys, and you have fun. Bye-bye.